Good morning, guys. Yesterday we started the video off with goose and duck, and today we are continuing that. I think my plan is good that I want to teach the, the duck and the goose to wander the farm, but they still need some limits. <laughs> so yesterday we tried leaving them over here and letting them have like a bigger area, and they just freaked out and followed Sophie and I everywhere. They like climbed through, we don't know if they tried to fit through this fencing here or if they tried to climb underneath this little thing. She definitely climbed under there because she climbs through the gates. Yeah, they do go underneath those things. Why is Chino not outside? Chino! So anyways, we decided to like leave their space there. I worry about them being further from the house because we're not like watching them every second. Oh, <laughs> Oh my goodness, she's just so cute. She's just so cute. Hi. <laughs> They're like, did you come to bring us treats or what? Tell us, we need treats. They actually don't need treats. They I know, they food. just, I know. Go eat the weeds. They're just spoiled. <laughs> We've been working on this farm for like a month now and it's been a lot of work. Sorry to you, yeah, it's a month. But we wake up in the morning and I'm like jumping into, actually I do a lot of work when everybody's sleeping. And then I jump into my clothes. Matilda. And I'm, her name is not Matilda. You said Matilda. Her name is Tilly. Matilda. All right, I jump into my clothes and then I get excited to go and do stuff. And that is the same as today. I can't wait, I have a plan. Every day I have a plan of things that I wanna do. What's wrong? I told Sophie to try and wean him down off some of his pain meds, but maybe it's not the right time. What are you doing? <laughs> I swear, everybody's just chilling today. I'm just gonna go check on Chino. Uh, see if he got his pain meds. <laughs> everybody's just chilling. It's a peaceful day out here today. I can tell everybody's just relaxing. But last night it was not peaceful here and I videoed, I don't know if you guys can hear any of the video, any of the footage. We had a crazy thunderstorm and Sophie and Sam and, Sophie and Sam and I got stuck in the barn. It was just torrential rain pour, it was thunder and lightning and the horses were acting. <laughs> different like they all had their own way of handling this big huge torrential rain pour usually we're inside when it happens we were caught in the barn and it was super fun to watch and see like how everybody handled the storm storm of course was the funniest um but then we were halfway through the storm waiting out the storm in the arena in the barn and then all of a sudden gabby pops in soaking wet with the raincoat on. But it was so much fun like we even when the storm was over and we all left Sam stayed he's like no I'm just gonna stay and watch a little longer like just being able to have the horses here and watch them like it's just so much fun so I'm gonna show you guys that footage now um, we got caught in the middle of a storm out in the barn and this is what happened and then I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit after you guys watch that. For, um, so you guys watch that while I go and figure out if Chino needs more pain pen pills. But wait, I just saw this. Isn't it adorable? Sam hung that all up and rearranged it all. So there's that and that. And then he also did this, which I think is a perfect spot for the fly masks. I love it. <laughs> what an amazing thing to wake up to. Sam did it. Uh, we have some some hay that I'm going to put in the goat barn. So I'm going to take that down there. And then I have a fan I need to get rid of. But otherwise, uh, it looks really cute. We also have some more lunging ropes. But yeah, I love it. Okay, back to the storm. Hey guys, we're in the barn. It is pouring rain. Sophie was about to go riding and then it just started downpouring. But look, there are Gracie and Penny down in the shelter. They're holding it. That's the first time I've ever seen them use a shelter before. And then the storm's in the barn and then Honey was out eating grass and then she ran into here. Be nice. But I want to 
to ride. So we're all trapped in the barn. We're just sitting here. Gino and Willow are over there. Storm and Honey are in here. And then the girls are trapped. Oh, Penny came out. Uh-oh. She's like, ah! She doesn't know what to do. shelter oh my god she's gonna do it she was trying to get back in the shelter and she couldn't see take off penny's fly mask don't slip she can't see Um, we're essentially trapped. Penny's still out of range. I'd say we jump in the truck and guys drive us. So we just sat out a really torrential rain pour and we got to see everything that happened in the barn. And we can see, but actually it drains fast. So Penny and Gracie got stuck back there in the shelter. They're on their way back now. Storm is freaking out to be separated from Gracie. Whoa, it's okay, Storm. Chill. At the birds. Anyway, so we're gonna try and figure out some better drainage for winter for this hill, because it's a hill that comes into this barn. And once there's ice on top of that. Um, we need to make a thing where this pony does not get wet. Yeah. Because this so, is what happened. So uh, this pony got wet and then she rolled in the dirt. And as much as Storm loves his Gracie. He's like, I'm not going out He there, will so never, right he's like a goat. He's, he's channeling his inner goat. He will never go outside in the rain if he doesn't have to. Honey is a goat. She likes climbing on stuff. Oh, what a smart boy. We were so fun. worried about him. There he goes. Because he runs. <laughs> Aww. And he's like, I had no. But did you see him? He would bypass all the mud. And he's like, I'm good here. Yeah, Sam threw a little tiny bit of hay in there. Okay, Sophie I'm Sophie did. Now. Sophie did. Anyway, all right. The world is good again. But we got to come out and spend time in the barn while there was a torrential rain pour, and it was pretty interesting. I wanted to ride, and yeah. then it just started. Sophie was about to ride. She wants to see if she can ride in the sh in the round ring. I think it's too small for storm, but we'll walk trot. I'm fishing after we... I bothered my dad fifty for fifty thousand years. And then who did you bother? You. And then who said yes? Let's do it. You. Yeah. <laughs> well, Dad said maybe, like he always does. Well, essentially, we've been working really hard on this little farm. Like it's only been a month. We've done a lot. It just feels like there's so much left to do, but we need to take a break. We need mental health days. We need days for our kids. There's a bird's nest up there. There's bird's nest everywhere. This is a house of many gates 
and many, many gates. What was it yesterday? Many gates, many feeders, many barns, <laughs> birds' nests. Like this is a this is a farm of many. I'm just gonna call this the farm of many. Let's name our farm, you guys. Help us name this farm. The plentiful farm, the many farm, the farm of many. I don't know. Farm of many things. But anyways, we're taking a mental health break. You guys are probably gonna come with us and. We're gonna go fishing. Sam used to like fishing. We used to like fishing. Did you get horses though? Literally. I'm stealing this bird's nest. You do nothing else but horses, especially right now you while you're trying in the nest. summer, while you can get stuff done. So uh, yesterday I told Gabby to decrease Chino's pain meds just a tiny bit because his abscess seems to have popped. And we want, I wanted to see how he's doing, but already you can tell. He's not at his best. So, back to pain meds, Chino. Come here. I know, it's always Gabby who does this for you. Oh, it's a boy, leave it out there. He likes it. He likes it. All right, go out there and eat now. Did you guys know that horses, oh shoot, what is it? There's some thing that makes horses not tolerant, not tolerant of the sun. All the looking up that I did, I did see something in one of the things that, and some, I don't know if it's like, I think it's the sugar, but it makes horses intolerant of the sun. I can't remember, you guys will know. But anyway, I find that Chino doesn't like to be out in the sun. Got him his food, got him his drugs. He doesn't have to stay out in the sun if he doesn't want to. And he doesn't have to travel far until the drugs kick in. Gabby still walks him three times a day. I did want to clarify though, that with Chino, We've been treating him as though he has metabolic syndrome for like the last at least year and especially this summer. So we have been we have been treating him like he has it and it's still not doing anything like he's still struggling, which is why which is why I'm so confused. Because if that in fact is his issue, then he could have been doing so much better and managing food so much better with drugs this whole entire time. I called two other vets before I ended up with the vet that I have now and both of them are not accepting new patients and we don't have a ton of vets in our area. We have vets in our extended area that would drive like an hour or a little more than an hour and it's not ideal for us to have a vet that comes from really far because in emergencies it makes life more difficult to get the treatment that we need. So it's actually hard to find another vet. Like it's actually harder than you think to just toss away your vet, especially if you do like your vet and you do respect your vet and your vet is really good in a lot of ways. <laughs> Gabby thinks Sophie's gonna fall in. <laughs> Anyways, this is where we're fishing. And the crazy thing is, is that when I was 17 years old, I would not fish to save my life. I would not even touch a worm, let alone touch a fish. And then I had three boys and I really quickly learned how to put worms on hooks and how to fish. I spent a lot of years fishing and it shows by the fact that I caught the first fish. Okay, throw it in quick before it dies. Bye fishy. So Sophie caught herself a little fish. That's a little. A trout. That's the same fish, Sophie. You're just catching my fish. No, because this one has damage in that mouth. Oh, the other one had damage to his mouth. So show yeah. it. Show it. It's a little sunfish. A baby sunfish. See yeah, the little spikes? Well, actually, I don't know if that's a sunfish. Sam, what kind of fish is this? Perch? That's what I was thinking. It's only yeah, perch and sunfish in here, I feel like. Don't you know that you're beautiful?